Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Mailbox Power Mastermind Call that happens every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific. You do the math for the rest of the time zones. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's 9 a.m. Mountain Time because that's where we are. So um, we come together every single week as affiliates to share how we're building our business and help each other and lift each other up in our Mailbox Power business which also helps us in our other businesses. And we like to start the week with wins. So does anybody have a mailbox power win they would like to share for the week? Brian. Maybe a little premature, but um, I'm with a new agency, they have go high level, some, some similar rocket notes, whatever. And I was talking to their guy, their go high level guy, trying to get myself up onboarded and everything. And he was able to integrate mailbox power into the, the go high level. He's like, wow, this is like really cool. <laughs> so maybe the whole agency can eventually use mailbox power. So we'll see no, where it not, goes. Not, not maybe. Well, we'll right. Put it out in the universe <laughs> that they are. The whole agency is going to be using mailbox power. How's that? There we go. <laughs> Because it does matter the words we say. If Marie was on, she'd be like, oh, wait, wait, we got to watch our words. <laughs> Lulu. Yeah, so I have, a, I just signed up as an executive member, a, a uh, an electrician firm. And they, I had to go a little bit out of the box because they wanted, they need to target a specific building uh -huh. uh, that they have to replace everybody has to replace something i don't know what it is but anyway i went to the library this is how the universe works i actually went to a networking meeting I, I first i went on mailbox power and i couldn't narrow it down to just that address it wouldn't give me that specifically so okay we're kind of thinking about how we might do it. and i go to a networking meeting and the first time ever first and only time this lady ever came to this meeting she happens to work at my local library down the street from my house. So I asked her, can I do that? And she said, yeah, she showed me how I got the list of all the people. Well, anyway, they signed up and they're going to start marketing to everybody in that one building. And of course, it's going to go from there. Yeah, I showed them I showed them how they'll be able to, uh, you know, use nearest neighbor and all that, you know, all the good stuff. So um, anyway, sometimes you have to think outside the box and the universe provides. Yep. So um, I thought that That's was awesome. Good. Yeah. In, in the future, you can go down to 0.1 miles, which pretty much just gives you that. And then you buy the list and you might have a few extras that you don't need, but then you sort the Excel spreadsheet by address and only use that address. Because I asked if, if there was a way I did ask in the chat. It's, it's and, so it's 0.1. I've, I've done something similar, 0.1 miles. So put in the address and say 0.1 miles around it. And 0.1 miles is, you know, you're not very far from that building. So it depends on if that building sits kind of by itself or is in clumped into an area. And so you might get a few other addresses, but you, then you just sort and only send to that one, and then you can work out from there if you want to use the other addresses. Interesting. Okay. Well, I got the list. <laughs> no, you you were great. I was going to say the library is another great resource for. Oh my gosh. Because yeah, sometimes we can't get the same things that like here in Colorado Springs, our library pays for Reference USA. Um, and it has some things more than we do. Yeah. Um, and so they're, yeah, reach out and use as many resources as you can to help your clients. Yeah. Um, so, um, and it was just fortuitous the way it all worked out. But anyway, that's another resource for us if we can't get exactly what we're looking for in our, in our, I mean, our, our system is very robust, but in this case, it was just easier to do it, to go to the yeah. library and get it. And now that oh. I'm a member, I, I can even do it. I don't even have to go to the library. Yep. So I might reach out to that 
library person, Lulu, and say, hey, people are coming and, and downloading lists all the time and they're using them to mail or to market to. And if you ever have anybody talking about needing to do marketing, I would love that introduction because I could help them do their mailers. So that would be, I would go circle back around with that person and have a coffee because you never know where that might lead. I love that idea. Thank you for that. I You're will. welcome. Anybody else have a win for the week? You're so smart, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> I guess since I've been doing this since 2011, you just kind of learn throughout, you know. Are you a consultant or something? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Any other wins? I, I've got a bunch of wins. I've been gone for quite some time. I took some personal sabbatical, et cetera, et cetera. But I've got um, two affiliates that are business owners ready to sign up. I've got two nonprofits that are ready to sign up as executives because they've seen a third nonprofit kind of uh, navigate their way as a pro account only, and they're ready to really do some, quote, damage. So I'm excited. Awesome. Um, yes. I love it. And love that's it. all I'll say right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to jinx anymore, right? <laughs> nope. Nope. That's my awesome. story. I'm sticking to it. Awesome. Anyone else? Well, we had a win last week. We had um, a past customer and past affiliate reach out who's had a lot of life happen. Um, she's a real estate agent and a coach. And she reached out to me and last week and said, I'm ready to re-sign up. And have you come to my mastermind because she runs a mastermind once a month. So I'm going to go um, to her mastermind and speak. And so she's ready. She used to be one of our top affiliates. And then life threw her a lot of curveballs, um, one of which was a fire in her house. Um, and they were out of their house for a while and then some health challenges. So she is back and ready to rock and roll. And I'm excited about that because she brought on um, back when we were network marketing, she brought um, one of our biggest legs. Um, so I'm excited for that and where that might lead. So anybody else? I can share something that happened to me that isn't necessarily a win, but it's something that I showed about mailbox power that people may not be using as often as they should. That's a really good part of our system. And that is the ability to collect someone's mailing address by having them scan, you know, turn yes. your link into the QR code and then have them scan it to show them the power of sending something automatically. So I did a LinkedIn workshop uh, at Montclair State University, which is a college in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And even though it was about LinkedIn and these were all business owners, people in an entrepreneur program, I did that. <laughs> I took the scan of the QR code and I brought that with me and I had everybody scan it. I had set up a card in advance and everybody in the room scanned the car, scanned the QR code and they should have gotten my card probably like sometime last week. So I'm curious. I'll be curious to see if anybody, you know, takes action for that. But uh, awesome. it's a feature that I think we sometimes forget about, but it's a really powerful one. It is a powerful one, Kim. And what I might suggest, it depends on budget, but what I might suggest next time is instead of just a card, and I don't know how big the class was, to send something small like unpop popcorn or mm -hmm. something that's, because I find when I just send a card, I get less people to reach out to me than if it's a box that's um, a point, or sure. uh, a hard you know, the cardboard envelope that has something in it. So um, obviously that depends on budget. You can't yes. always do that. But if you're in front of a smaller audience, just multiply out and say, if all 50 or whatever it is did this, it would cost me this. But if I got one client or I got two clients, it would pay for it. Look at it that way and do the possible return on investment and how many clients you'd have to get out of it. And usually it's well worth it. It, yeah. it makes a, a bigger point. impact. I'm actually doing another LinkedIn talk on Wednesday this week. It's just a short one, but I was going to do the same thing. So maybe I will do 
that for this one and see what happens. These are a little more seasoned business owners in this group that I just joined. The The, the program that I did was like new entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. not sure they would have been ready for that, but it is a fabulous idea. And I think I will take all that. You know how that, how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing I might do, Kim, if they're new entrepreneurs, if you ever have it again, is in that package, send also a postcard marketing mailbox power so they could see that they could market their new business. Um, so I would add the medium postcard in so that they can see that there's client nurturing, there's thank yous, and there's marketing all in the same package because of course the postcards are free because you're an executive, I'm pretty right. sure. So yes. <laughs> it's not gonna cost you anything to put it in the box. So right. why not? Right. That's a great right. Idea. Which just wow. gave me an idea because I haven't been doing that. So that right. you're on fire, Brenda. <laughs> That's a great idea. I mean, I might even just send them a postcard, you know, follow up in a in a week or two. Ask them how they're doing with their LinkedIn profile and just you know. Yeah. I'd like to them. make one suggestion, and it comes from Damar actually in his exhortation to include a, "Hey, let me know you got my card and gifts." I think that should apply to almost any card-based communication, not a sympathy card, but come on, you know, right. it's nice to know. And I get input from people that have gotten cards from me for 15 years because I asked them to say something. Yep. So I think it's worth it. Definitely. And, and I've gotten away from doing that um, on a lot of our cards. Um and I probably need to get back to doing it because if it's just a thank you and there's no gift, I I don't know that PS to me makes it a little bit salesy. So I've taken it out um, of a lot of our cards, but I need to, there are certain cards that that is definitely appropriate on. Mm -hmm. And um I can report that I've heard from questions. people that are thirsting for social engagement mm -hmm. and really enjoyed getting a card and didn't yeah. know how to say thank you. Ah. You know, is, so the other side of that same coin. Yep. No, I like it. And I just need to do it more. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, you call it as you send it type thing. But yeah, let's not forget doing personal relationships the old-fashioned way yep <laughs> yep lulu i was just gonna say uh, it's just funny to me that you that you have to include that like if i got a card and a brownie from somebody i'm gonna let them know right away like thank you that was so awesome but i think people get busy i think that's what it is it's not that they don't appreciate it and so just reminding them like hey let me know how you enjoyed your brownie you don't have to say, let me know when you get this, I guess. You could say, you know, let me know how you enjoyed the brownie. And I always say, I like it, you know, I like it heated in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Let me know what you think or something like that. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I awesome. say pro tip. Heat it up pro for tip. 15 Heat it. <laughs> pro <laughs> tip. Heat it up for 10, 15 seconds. That, that's, that's what I do. Yeah, that's ice cream. Yeah, master tip. <laughs> add ice cream. <laughs> and chocolate and, and caramel syrup. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> um, death by chocolate. Add. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, does anybody have any challenges? I mean, Lulu kind of presented one, but she figured out how to get around it. Does anybody have any challenges or struggles that they keep running into or currently have that you'd like us as a mastermind to talk about? Lulu. I'll tell you what I still struggle with sometimes is just giving that quick elevator pitch. I still, do, I, I don't always know, because you're talking to lots of different people. And so I, I do still struggle with that a little bit. So let's, let's practice. So let's pretend you and I meet in an elevator. Let, <laughs> let's role play. Let's, let's oh, gosh. and practice. <laughs> Yep, quiet. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I, I do say like 
sometimes you only have it that second. And I say, you know, in a nutshell, depends. In a nutshell, mailbox marketing, follow up. I'm a follow up guru. I mean, you know, like there's so many different things you can say, but yeah. I just it kind of depends. And I think mailbox marketing really sort of captures the essence of what we do. Um, I agree. Anybody else want to um, chime in before Mike and I share? Alan. I, at age 68, I'm less interested in the elevator speech than conversation. I think that's more important. I think you hit something in common and then you start from there. And if it's appropriate to exchange an address, you do. At worst case, you get a picture and you start from there. And next case, that that's just me. Yep. No, I love been, That's been working for me over the last six weeks. I just haven't pounded everybody into mailbox power yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, <lookout I>, rules. <laughs> I love that, Alan. And when you have the opportunity to have more of a conversation, that's exactly what I like to do. But I think Lulu is talking about you're in the elevator like, or something and yeah. you have a, just a couple of minutes and you're starting a conversation and somebody says, oh, what do you do? You know, because you're at a networking meeting or whatever. Right. You're speed, yeah, you're stairs. speed networking. You're yep. like, that's a real challenge, the speed networking. And it, I think Kimberly had her hand up. I like to share with business owners how to act to affect their bottom line. That's appreciate, celebrate, and thank. <gasps> nice. Ooh, put, put that in the chat, Kimberly. I love it. Nice. Oh, girl. <laughs> nice. Golly, everyone's on fire it. this morning. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Appreciate what? I forgot already. Appreciate, <laughs> celebrate, <laughs> and, and act, act. Act, right? Act. Appreciate, celebrate, and thank. And, and thank. thank. Yep. And you did that in your training. So, so everybody has to go back because I remember that from the training. Now that you say that, the, I don't the, remember the social that. media training, I think she talked about act, didn't you? Yeah. I... Yep. Wow. So go back and rewatch Kimberly's um, How did I miss from a that? couple months ago. I remember writing that down now that she said that again. I don't remember that. So yep. thank you. Wow. Anyway, Anyone else? Has anybody read uh, Ryan Levesque's book, Ask? A-S-K? Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, boy. It's a goodie. Is it? Well, that'll be my that that'll be my gift forward to the next person, Brenda. I'll gift that book to whoever's next. Okay. And it, it'll be a, a good a good one, I promise you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? Well, I um go ahead, Lulu. No, I'm oh. copying and pasting. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> no. Um, I generally, if I have a commercial at a BNI or you're at speed networking. I say, um, I talk about mailbox marketing, but I say, um, oh, now, now I got to think for a second, <laughs> you know, hi, I'm Brenda Sanchez. I'm with, you know, and then I say, we are your client acquisition and retention strategist, helping you find your ideal client and then convert them to a client and keep them, um, it, that was bad, but it's something like that. I, I'm on the spot. I'm like, normally I know I'm going to do this and I have a few seconds to think about it. Or um, we do everything print marketing, basically. And when you say that, because I find if all I talk about is client nurturing, people think, oh, it's just the thank yous and I don't need to do that. I need to market but if you say mailbox marketing, then all they're thinking you do is marketing and not the nurturing. So I think we need to have both. And that's one of the reasons why I like Kimberly's. I share with business owners how to act and impact their bottom line. Wow. wow, um, wow. The only thing I would say is we need somewhere in there 
because you have appreciate, celebrate, and thank you don't have the marketing in there. So you're missing a key piece. And so if you can, I share with business owner, I don't know, I have to think about it for a second and put something else on the front end about marketing and then the the impact of once they become a client or once they're in their sphere. Um, mass. Mm. Mask. Oh, Mac. Marketing. Yeah. Something well, like how that. how about how about I teach business owners how to impact their bottom line, and then something for I. The M could be marketing. Appreciate, celebrate, thank. So we just have to come up with so the I, I. Um. So. Say that again. Say the first part again. I teach. Well, she says here, I, teach, I share with business owners how to act. But what about I share with business owners how to impact? Because she already has the word impact. impact impress. Impact. Impress. Ooh, impress. Impress. Market. Um, P. Yeah. And then the rest. P. Appreciate, P. celebrate, and thank. Well, you got P. P oh, right. crud. Um, <laughs> impact impress market impact um uh, praise appreciate celebrate and thank praise appreciate because praise would be for like employees praise appreciate celebrate and thank nice wow i yeah. love it <laughs> oh my gosh now what did i say for i you said impress. <laughs> impress. Okay. Impress, market, praise, appreciate, celebrate, and thank. All right. Impress. I'm going to put that in here. Impress, market, praise, uh, appreciate, free. I can't spell. Wow. Appreciate. <laughs> P A C celebrate. And thank. Awesome. I love it. See, we just added to Kimberly's and we all have something. Anybody else have ideas? So Lulu, I'm gonna ask you a question. If you have a sub for your BNI, what commercial do you give them? Oh, I can pull it up because I just had somebody sub for me. And Let could me... you take part of that to be your elevator? Uh, and I, I, I have when I kind of remember what the heck I'm. Okay, so. Lulu's customers use her platform to increase customer acquisition and retention by sending automated and personalized direct mail, cards, and gifts through the mail. While her platform can be used by any business, a great referral for her this week. And then I went on to say what my great referral. So so that's because we get we only get 20. We have a lot of members. We get 20 seconds. Oh, you have so. 20 seconds. So see, that could be your elevator pitch. Yeah. And sometimes I just am caught off guard. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. thinking about but it just has to roll off the tongue a little. Smoother. We help we help businesses increase their bottom line. How? Curiosity. Wait a minute. How? <laughs> Here's my card. Call me. I got to go. <laughs> or I like to, I don't have it when I'm in the, uh, sometimes I have it in my bag, but I'm not going to pull it out. But I like to carry the pizza cutter around. And I say, I help businesses cut through the digital noise. You guys are awesome. Got to run. Thank you so <laughs> much. You're welcome. Need, are you I in Colorado? To, I Right now I'm in Colorado. We, we're only here till Wednesday, but maybe we can have coffee or something. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's good try it. You. All right. <laughs> I, I just worry about saying that because there are some people in my networking group so that do digital marketing. 
I do too. So, so what I say, say, so what I say is I help you cut through the digital noise. I'm not telling you not to do digital. I'm telling you that you need to yeah, add our services on top of the digital so that you can cut through it. But when you merge both of them together, you get exponential results. So I promote the digital marketer in our group. And the digital marketer has started, They the last one didn't, but the digital marketer in my group now starts promoting me. She's like, I'll create a newsletter and then go to Brenda and she can help you um, send it out. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, build that relationship with the digital marketer and figure out how you can cross promote each other in your commercials. Perfect. Anybody else? Is this helpful? Very. Thank you, Kimberly, for that. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, girl, you got us going. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Lulu, for asking the question yeah, really. so that we could get Kimberly's answer and expand on it. <laughs> you know, really, this this call wouldn't be what it is without all of you. Uh, it's you, awesome! <laughs> really do appreciate you. And, and Kim, I know uh, life kind of gets in the way, but we appreciate you showing up today and, and being here. Same thing with Andrea. Um, it's always nice to see uh, all of you on these calls. Yeah, and Regina, I don't think Re she's on occasionally, but I don't think she's been on recently. So we appreciate you, Regina. Um, how many of you are going to be in Salt Lake for the... Lulu is. I know she is. Yep. Kimberly, are you? Yep. No, I'm going to be um, going oh, to that's right. Ohio. That's right. You did say that. Uh, yeah. Thanks for meeting we'll everybody. <laughs> yeah. We'll miss you, but we'll, we look forward oh, I'll miss to all you. of you. <laughs> Next are they going to do any Zoom at all? I don't know if they are, Alan. Um, I can pass that suggestion forward. Um and see. And I'm happy to make it on the Wednesday call as well. I think it's a huge omission if they don't. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the way air travel is nowadays, uh, that's the last place I'm going to be in is on an airplane right now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> especially uh, we leave Wednesday for Florida and with all the glitches the last few days, it's like, oh. Oh, I Wait. made it home just in the nick of time. I came home on Thursday. Oh, you're Our right. son didn't. He's he's still here trying to get home. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, well, thank you everyone for being here. We appreciate you showing up and participating and we look forward, uh, well, we won't see you next week, but Kimberly looks forward to seeing you all next week. I'm cooking up something myself. special that will require participation from everybody. And oh, and I, I heard it was going to be spicy. <laughs> I heard oh, it was going to be spicy and juicy. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> so you'll have to show up next week and find out. And we're going to have to watch the recording because we'll be at Disney. So we won't be watching. We oh my won't be You're my co-pilot, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a great week, everybody. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.